Now, uh, well, in the real world, construction has finished that phase and uh, buildings are ready for us to, to use. So, of course, we want to run the process just for settlement. And um, what's going to be interesting, first we need to enter like the rules, how the settlement should happen. But also, in that same transaction, we can even start uh, the, the process just for the actual settlement. We can have it as a test, then as an update. We will analyze um, first uh, how the postings uh, will just happen and then later we will run as an update um, process so we get the actual data so actually we have a um, a complete section for just this for the asset under construction so let's switch to that one and we will start the define distribution rules for asset under construction app of course let's enter the ID of our company code and well the ID for the asset under construction and we will just choose the layout 3 SAP for document number first so well after we have entered these parameter values let's just uh, well click execute that will a query the database to get all the documents for uh, the asset under construction that have been like assigned for this AUC. And as you can see, we'll have, for example, the I mean the the thirty thousand uh, two times and also the all the others like twice, because um, uh, we have actually two documents because we have the two ledgers. But of course now this is a big difference with the previous releases uh, like of the SAP system because previously. We didn't have that possibility, we didn't have that chance to select and uh, uh, just uh, um, post the settlement differently for different uh, ledgers, so for different accounting principles. So that is of course great uh, just to know in the uh, S4HANA releases that we have more flexibility. And of course we can just select uh, those to enter the valid uh, rule, but uh, as you can see if we want to select two for example we cannot do it at first but that is just because we need to keep pressing control the control key and then click so we can select more than one right now we have selected the two um, documents for the 30,000 uh, euros because we want just to uh, sell them the, in the same way so to enter the the um, uh, this, the just the settlement rule we can come all the way to the top uh, sorry to the bottom right corner and we have enter so let's click on that one and well of course we need to enter what is the category for the settlement what is the settlement receiver and a percentage so let's click on uh, first the category we have only two if you remember from the settlement profile these are the valid receivers um, we have cost center but right now let's select a fixed asset later we will explain a bit more about the cost center but okay this is fixed asset and we need to now um, just type the ID for the first receiver which is the first building which is this one and you also well it's important for you to know and um, this will be just the only receiver so just for for this example we'll set up 100% and if we press enter, we get also like uh, just a check. And uh, if everything's correct, even we have the description. So well, if it this is correct, now we can just go back. And well, first thing that we notice, of course, we have a different color here. It's now green because that means the rule has been uh, has been just entered correctly. Now let's select all the other. Of course, with control we are just uh, pressing control and select all the other documents so we can enter the rule for this and now as we have been saying we can um, just activate uh, with this element multiple assets and now we will just um, select the the fixed assets for the other buildings and uh, well about the category uh, again we can use the match code and as you can uh, appreciate here we have again the cost center and the asset so why is the cost center a valid receiver well remember uh, just for some accounting principles it might not be permitted to 
um, just grab all the costs from the AUC, AUC the asset under construction, and just uh, consider that as part of the value for the the acquisition value for the asset because again that has implications on the depreciation calculation the depreciation cost and the of course then maybe the the end result is an impact on the taxes so that depending uh, sometimes we will just select a cost center and send let's say 20 percent of the costs there so only 80 percent will capitalize asset uh, different assets and uh, just 20% won't be part of the acquisition value so the um, just the acquisition value is is uh, less money and then the depreciation is less and then we probably well because the, the, that cost is uh, just reduced uh, we have probably higher um, revenue, well, higher profitability and we need to pay for the higher profits but well, that's the reason we have also the cost center right now we will just select fixed asset um, we will settle the costs to uh, first we will enter the id of the second building which is like this and the percentage will be 70 percent maybe the 30 percent could just be used for a cost center if um, that was uh, what was required from the account principle but that is not the case right now for this example so we want to select again asset because we will use the the remaining percent the 30 percent to post this to the second building uh, the third building sorry so we should have it like this and if we press enter now we have it 70 percent to the second building 30 percent to the third building so well now we have everything correctly set up for our rules actually if we go back now everything is green of course and uh, well, now, as you can just uh, uh, see here, we um, have everything ready, but now we can run the process directly from here. The process just for settlement. So what we need to do, of course, is we have to click settlement here at the top. And well, it will just say, do you really want to save the distribution rules? Yes, of course. And well, uh, uh, now we have the company code, the asset correctly set up. Let's just enter the asset value date. And first we will run this as a test run. So everything is correct with that and the detail is okay. So let's just execute. Now this server is kind of new. It's still compiling some of the programs, especially about like this one right now. So, well, as you can see, uh, the system has finished and now the app is sh just showing how everything will look uh, for the Ledger 0L, like for IFRS, and for uh, 2L for like the local gap. So as you can see, um, we have the our buildings, the main one just for 30,000, and then uh, using a 7030, we have the second and the third building. And in this scenario, because we have decided it like this, uh, 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 the, the second ledger, the 2L, it's exactly the same. So everything is correct. We have the full amount being settled to the uh, complete assets, which will be just the assets that we create in the uh, complete uh, asset class, which is the building's asset class. So well, everything is correct. So we can just uh, come back. And now the difference, of course, we will run this uh, with uh, just in update mode. So we remove the test run and let's execute again. So well, the system will process and the difference right now is yes, uh, we will get the uh, corresponding documents. So that is, of course, the main uh, thing that we want if we run as, a, as an update. So we can just continue. We get all the the summary again, all this data, and well, uh, um, this is correct. Now we will just actually just quit this app, and uh, this is important because we will uh, check in some of the coming lessons, also the consequence. But right now we know that the process was uh, just a successful process, and we can just well let's uh, finish with this. Uh, 
this lesson and we expect you to see you there in the next uh, ones in which we will see a bit, a bit more of the asset values of course so thank you again